Now let's take a look at one example. In this example, we need to calculate average rate of formation of O2 in this following reaction. Now, during the time interval from 1200 seconds to 1800 seconds, the concentration of O2 is 0 0.0036 molarity and at 1800 seconds O2 concentration is 0 0.0048 molarity. We need to calculate. So rate of oxygen which is forming, so O2 concentration divided by delta T. When you calculate, you have 0 0.0048 minus 0 0.0036 because 0 0.0048 at uh, 1800 seconds we plug in and at 1200 we are going to plug in this concentration change in concentration divide by time 1800 second minus 1200 second when you calculate you get 2.0 times 10 raised to minus 6 remember the unit is molarity per second. So you can cal calculate average rate of formation of O2. So now let's look at reaction rate. So reaction rate usually depends on concentration of one or more reactants. And this relationship is determined by experiment. You can determine this relationship by experimentally. So the reaction rate, this is the it is a relationship is captured in the reaction rate law. An equation that is relates the rate of a reaction to the concentration of reactant and catalyst. Is it is raised to various powers and the proportionality constant K is a rate constant. So that way you can find reaction rate you can find through experiment. Now for zero order reaction K unit is meter per second or mole per liter second. For first order reaction K unit is one over second or second inverse and for second order reaction K unit is one over molarity time second or liter over mole time second. So you see the K value for first, second and third, the units, units are different. So let's take a look at generic equation. This is a generic equation. A moles of reactant A plus B moles of reactant B plus C moles of reactant C. It gives D moles of react product D E moles of product D when we write rate law when you write, write rate law which is rate equals K constant times concentration of A raised to M constant concentration of B raised to M and concentration of C raised to P because reactant concentrations are important they determine reaction rate now reaction order is with respect to a specific reactant, it is exponent of that species in the experimentally determined rate law. So you can determine uh, ex experimentally and whatever the exponent for that particular species you calculate reaction rate law, reaction order. So the overall order of a reaction is the sum of the orders of the reactant species from experimentally determined rate law. For example, two moles of NO2 gas and one mole of F2 gas, it gives two moles of NO2 and F2 gas. So when you calculate rate, K times concentration of NO2 raised to 1 and concentration F2 raised to 1 and the overall order is 1 plus 1 equals 2. So you can calculate reaction rate and overall order for that particular reaction.